for quite some time, there have been two parallel paths that have been progressing. One is the path to ubiquitous connectivity, which you know, has wireless devices that connect to everything. And the other is the path to ubiquitous computing. And 5G is when they come together. 5G is the next generation of wireless technology. It's a faster, more efficient, and more reliable network. The network will be critical for national defense, regional industrial production, manufacturing, your transportation, your job, even your health. 5G tech works differently than other wireless. In general, 5G uses more bandwidth at higher frequencies to carry more data. The higher frequency signal can only effectively travel short distances, so 5G networks will need a lot of small antennas everywhere. The additional data will move over the network quickly, and to do this, it will need new standards to avoid data bottlenecks and other problems. It is forecast that the average autonomous car will produce as much data in one day as 3,000 people do today. That tsunami of data has to be rapidly orchestrated so you know all kinds of information in real time without any latency in order to guide the car. Compared to previous generations of wireless technology, 5G allows you to specialize coverage to particular use cases. One of these is to a massive number of Internet of Things or smart devices. Many smart devices are run off of battery power. For example, e-bikes or electric scooters sense information from their environment and communicate with servers through the 5G network. This highly efficient, low-power communication that's enabled by the 5G network will allow you to use more of that battery power toward the primary function of the device, for example, getting you where you need to go, and less of the power on communication. Just as 4G gave us ride-hailing, enabled precise navigation, and put world commerce in the palms of our hands, 5G will bring currently unimaginable capabilities to our daily lives. 5G. For the United States to take full advantage of 5G, our policymakers will need to make critical decisions in the near future. For example, negotiators are now working on international standards which will affect U.S. competitiveness in the future 5G economy. Also, telecommunications policy will determine which American communities see the most benefits. And because the future network will involve more decentralized computing, there are vast national security and cybersecurity implications around the choice of companies that will build, operate, and maintain the 5G supply chain. Because of all this, 5G is and will remain a major focus for GAO as part of our steadfast commitment to provide timely, reliable, and relevant information on science and technology.